Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. As you already know, I love the Raspberry Pi Pico and I make a lot of videos on it. And recently I found this unique Pico W clone. It is called the Walnut Pi Pico W and this is based on a ESP32-S3 development board. When I was looking for more information about this board, I did found a website that has a lot of documentation and this company is based here in China. The main boards they do focus on is Linux development boards that has the same layout as the Raspberry Pi. But they have this microcontroller, this Pico W clone. And if we click here, we can see here is all the documentation. Just having a quick overview on a table of contents, we can see there are some download files. There's a Python 3 basics. And here we have the development environment, so how to set up Fonny, and some basic experiments, Wi Fi application, Bluetooth and in different sensors. So let's quickly see, can we get MicroPython running on this board? Plugging in the microcontroller to the computer, we see it already comes pre-flash with MicroPython. On the website, I also do show how to update the firmware using this bootloader here that you can download to install a different version of MicroPython. Since this microcontroller is using MicroPython, we should be able to use any of our code with the Pico W and then just change the GP pins and it should work fine. Let's go do a simple example where we will flash an LED, which is, you know, the hello world of microcontrollers. Here is a very simple circuit. We have this one kilo ohm resistor connected to GP42 that will go to the positive leg of the LED. And then this will go to ground. Here we have the Walnut Pi Pico W pinout. And we can see the pinout is identical to that of the Pico or Pico W. But we do have different pins here. We see we have a lot more analog to digital conversion. But you can see for the general purpose pin and the ground pins, they're identical. The only difference is now here, like you can see, this is not going to be GP01 to like in a Pico, but GP13, 14 and so on. So the one that we use now, like we said, was GP42. So let's go quickly write the code for this. We start by importing the pin class from the machine library. And we will also import sleep from our time library. Then we will go set up our LED. So here we have this variable LED and we set this to pin 42. And we're going to make this a pin out. And then we create an endless loop. We will turn this LED on for 0 0.5 seconds. Turn this LED off for 0 0.5 seconds. And this will happen forever. So if we run this code, we will get the following. Now the main thing I like about this board is that it is cheaper for me to buy this board since I'm already living in China and I don't have to import the Pico W. That means in the future if I want to make my own DIY electronics kit, I'll probably use this one since it still uses MicroPython and you can also still follow along using the Raspberry Pi board. Now I also have found this board from Waveshare which is also a ESP32-S3 microcontroller, but we will see that the pinout for this one is again exactly like the Pico. So this means that we can use this board and replace the Pico if we wanted to. Now regarding this channel, I know that the majority of the content is based on a Raspberry Pi Pico, but if I use this ESP32-S3 board, nothing is going to change because we are still using MicroPython the only thing that's going to change is going to be the GP pins in the code. So in the future, I'm going to make more videos. So that means basically the videos is going to double because my channel is more of a search based channel since I'm not making fun and entertaining videos. So that means maybe if I build a project, I'm going to make a Pico or Pico W version. And then there's almost going to be an identical video where I'm going to use the ESP32 S port. And that is just to make sure that if there is someone that's need help and they are searching for ESP32 S3 instead of Pico and Pico W, that they will find that video. So if you do see a video about the ESP32 S and you do not care about it and you just want to see the Pico W, please do not click on that video and click away and then the algorithm is going to punish me. But if you want, you can still watch the full video. So I know this video was a bit short and I am planning on building a small course during this next, let's think, maybe 
in the next three weeks is that's going to be based on a Pico W. So it's going to be a, let's say, two to three hour course where I'm going to show very simple getting started with microcontrollers. So if you do not want to miss out on that, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next video.